Good evening, Tom. Won't you sit down? Thank you. I heard that you had become headmaster. A worthy choice. I'm glad you agree. May I offer you a drink? That would be welcomed. I have come a long way. So, Tom, to what do I owe the pleasure? They do not call me Tom anymore. These days I am known as, I know what you're known as. But to me, I'm afraid, you will always be Tom Riddle. It is one of the more irritating things about old teachers. I'm afraid that they never quite forget their charges youthful beginnings. I am surprised you remained here so long. I always wondered why a wizard such as yourself never wished to leave school. Well, to a wizard such as myself, there can be no more important than passing on ancient skills, helping hone the minds of young wizards. If I remember correctly, you once saw this attraction of teaching as well. I see it still, Dumbledore. I merely wondered why you, who was so often asked for advice by the Ministry, and who has twice been offered the post of Minister three times at my last count. But the Ministry never attracted me as career. Again, something we have in common, I think. I have returned later, perhaps, than Professor Dippet expected. But I have returned, nevertheless, to request again what he once told me I was too young to have. I have come to teach. I think you must know that I have seen and done much since I left this place. I can show your students things they could gain from no other wizard. Yes, I certainly do know that you have done much since leaving us. Rumors of your doings have reached your old school, Tom. I should be sorry to believe half of them. Greatness inspires envy. Envy engenders spite. Spite spawns lies, Dumbledore. You must know this. You call it greatness, what you have been doing, do you? Certainly. I have experimented. I have pushed the boundaries of magic further, perhaps, than they have ever been pushed. Of some kind of magic, Tom. Of some kinds. Of others. You remain, I forgive me, woefully ignorant. The old argument. But nothing I have seen in the world has supported your famous pronouncements that love is more powerful than my kind of magic. Perhaps you've been looking in the wrong places. Well then, what better place to start my first researches than here at Hogwarts? Will you let me return? Will you let me share my knowledge with your students? I place myself and my talents at your disposal. I am yours to command. And what will happen? What will become of those whom you command? 
What will happen to those who call themselves, if rumor has it, the Death Eaters? My friends will carry on without me, I'm sure. I'm glad you to hear you consider them friends. I was under the impression that they were more in the order of servants. You are mistaken, Dumbledore. Then if I were to go to the Hogshead tonight, I would not find a group of them. Not Rosier, Malsaber, Dolohoff awaiting your return. You are omniscient as ever, Dumbledore? No, no. Merely friendly with the local barman. Now, Tom, let us speak openly for once. Why have you come here tonight? Surrounded by henchmen? To ask for a job we both know you do not want. A job I do not want? On the contrary, Dumbledore, I want it very much. Oh, you want to come back to Hogwarts. But you do not want to teach any more than you wanted to when you were seventeen. What is it you are after, Tom? Why not try an open request? If you do not want to give me the job, Dumbledore, of course I don't. And I don't think for a moment you expected me to. But you came here. You asked. You must have a purpose. This is your final word, then? It is. Then we have nothing else to say to each other. No, nothing. The time is long gone when I could frighten you with a burning wardrobe and force you to re make repayment for your crimes. But I wish I could, Tom. I wish I could.